Tanya Kingery and I'm a part of the fourth grade teaching team right here at Cole Valley and fourth graders are the absolute best in the world. They are mature and responsible, hysterical, we laugh a lot, they understand my jokes, but they know how to work hard, get back to work when we need to, and they're just the best to be around every day. Here at Cole Valley we have specialty teachers in each grade. I teach the reading and social studies, and then we have a writing teacher and a math teacher. And we support each other throughout the day, planning projects together where we can, a typical day would look like we come in to our homeroom. We also have our homeroom classes and Bible. That's very important too. Um, we come into our homeroom, take attendance, say hello, pray, start our day, and then kids switch out into whatever class they are assigned to first. They uh, might math first for it's a 75 minute class. And then we take a recess break. And we come back in and they have their next class, possibly writing for 75 minutes. And then we take our lunch break and then go out to recess. After recess, we go to specials classes, so either music, computer, or PE. And then after that, they come back for their final class of the day, Mighty Reading, with me. And then we end the day with 30 minutes of Bible and homeroom time together, which is the best part of our day. So in our block time, we have what we start with typically either some sort of opening work. For me, it's read aloud, and we start with a story. And then we go into our mini lesson where we um, have 15 to 20 minutes together as a class working on whatever essential outcome we're focused on for that day, our learning target. And then we go into student um, rotations, labs, different work that have been assigned by the teachers. And I know math and writing do these too. And then we have independent work time also, which is a great time for teachers to confer independently or um, with small groups. So we always have small group or independent conferences happening throughout each day. And the time flies. I'm always surprised how quickly 75 minutes goes. Fourth grade is a time where kids really step up their um, responsibility and their organization. This is the first year we use zipper binders. So they have a folder for each class so that they can keep track of their assignments, a homework folder so that they have what they need to go to and from school each day. Also in fourth grade, we focus a lot on geography and Idaho history. We talk about the reasons people came to and through Idaho and what caused them to settle eventually. Because of that, we try to do a lot of great field trips since this capital city has a lot to offer. We have gone to the Idaho Penitentiary, the historic one. We have visited our state capitol, the Ada County Courthouse. We go to the old U.S. Bank building that is still in existence today, but we get to see the history of that building. Um, we have gone to the Morrison Center to watch the Boise Philharmonic. We visited the MK Nature Center. Um, it just kind of depends from year to year, but those are some of the things we look forward to every year. The great thing that happens in fourth grade is our STEAM class. Every Thursday you miss one of your classes to go um, to our STEAM lab and you work on science, technology, engineering, art, or mathematics. It's a great time of inquiry and exploration and hands-on projects and the kids always love that. Some other things that we like in fourth grade are the bigger projects when we are studying about westward migration. We do a big pioneer simulation, the kids have pretend identities and experience fates and work together as a team on a wagon train to see what it might really be like to travel the Oregon Trail. We finish that all up usually at the end of April with a big Oregon Trail Day celebration with food and crafts and fun and square dancing and it's just a real memorable time that we all enjoy. In fourth grade, we have our Bible emphasis is mostly on the Old Testament, and we typically dive in from Joshua to about Psalms is where we're at right now, Psalms and Proverbs. And it's just a great time of digging into the Word together, um, reading together, praying together, sharing our struggles, our encouragement. And Friday mornings are always a special time because we go to chapel together, and that's about a 45 minute time period where we go to the gym, we get to worship together and hear different speakers and just, enjoy learning and growing our faith together. Some of the curricular focuses in our grade level, the reading and writing pair together very well. We both use the Lucy Calkins framework. So if I'm working on an informational text research, then the writing teacher takes that and they do an informational paper about an animal. They have researched in my class and we've done that a lot with, they have an opinion essay and we might be working on author's claims and their reasons and evidence. So a lot of things we do 
go back and forth together there. Um, I also work on a lot of you know, characterization and elements of plot for stories, which then our writers use in their writing as well. So that's pretty easy for us to collaborate together. And our math teacher uses a Singapore framework and does all kinds of awesome things all year long and is very into um, going from concrete by using lots of manipulatives to pictorial to an abstract thinking. So what we love is to push students to go farther than they would believe they even could. You'll be so impressed with so many of the things they write this year, the depth of books they read and the amount of books they read, what they can do mathematically, how deeply they can think about their subject areas. Um, we just push them to go as far as we can because we love them and we believe they can do it. Coal Valley is such a great partnership with families and staff. I love um, getting to know the families, getting to know the siblings, um, investing in the kids and hearing all about their stories, where they came from, why they are here, and just the staff works together so well. It's just an easy place to at any time during the day to get prayer, to encourage one another, to share ideas across grade levels, across curricular contents, and it's just the best. Well, what we really want you to know about fourth grade is we love what we do and we love our students and we just want to push them and um, encourage them and help them to develop a relationship with the Lord and grow in that relationship. So if this sounds like a good fit for you, we'd love to meet you. We'd love to answer any questions. We hope you would consider us and uh, we would love to partner with you in the future.